Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we're going to go over the top 10 hardest enemies to find in Hollow Knight in order to complete your Hunter's Journal. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first one we're going to take a look at is the Crystal Crawler, and it can only be found here in the Crystal Peak. Taking a look at our map, we are right here in the Crystal Peak. And if we take a look right here in the journal, the Crystal Crawler looks like this. So it's one of those things that these crystal crawlers don't actually die from using your nail. You have to use your soul just like that. And once you do, you'll be able to kill them nice and easy. They only take one hit. You need a total of 15 of the crystal crawlers in order for it to count towards your journal. And as you can see, the symbol on the bottom left lets me know that I've actually completed this. The next enemy can be hard because he can only be found two places in the game and we are talking about the Husk Guard. So here we are on the map, we are at the Forgotten Crossroads and we are going to head up. Again, here we are on the map. This is one of two of the Husk Guards and as you can see, he's already dead so we can't kill him any further. So it doesn't count, we need 10 of these guys. So the next spot where we can find him is going to be over here on the map. We're going to make our way up. Alright, so here we are on the map. We need to go right and up. Again, the map. And here's the husk guard. This is the last husk guard in the game. We need to defeat 10 of these guys in order to complete our journal. And in order to get this guy to respawn, it's not enough to just leave and come back. In order to make this guy come back, we need to go all the way back to the bench, sit on it, and come all the way back here just to defeat him over and over again. And every time you go to sit at a bench, it makes all of the other enemies along the way spawn as well. One thing that you can do is if you have your dream nail upgraded, you can go ahead and drop a dream gate right here. Then that way when you go back to the bench and save, you can use your dream gate to get back up. And just like that, we're back at the husk guard and we're able to complete that journal entry. The next enemy we're going to be looking for is the Light Seed. A bunch of Light Seeds will attempt to swarm the Broken Vessel and that is the best and easiest time to kill a bunch of them just because you need a total of 20 of them in order to complete the Hunter's Journal. As you can see, I need 17 right here and they are nowhere to be found near the Broken Vessel. Now the only way that they're going to be found is in the Infected Crossroads. Alright, so here we are on the map. We're going to go right and up. This is right next to that husk guy that we were fighting earlier. Oh, there they are. They just dropped out of the ground. Get him. Quick. Gah. Got him. Okay, sweet. So now we are going to go ahead and place down our dream gate and make our way back to that bench. Just a heads up, if you think you're going to find the light seeds all the way down here, right where we found the broken vessel, I went through this entire area and there's no light seeds there anymore. The only place that we're going to be finding them is in this spot right here. And just a heads up, you need a total of 20 of these light seeds, so you're probably going to have to do this a couple of times. For our next enemy, we're making our way over to the Queen Station, and the enemy we're going to be looking after is the Durandu. So here we are on the map. We are going to make our way straight up and into the thick of the Fog Canyon. So here we are on the map. We're going to make our way all the way up to the top and then to the left. So here we are on this map, we're going to go all the way to the top of this room and then we're going to start heading to the left. So 
So as you can see, there's one right here. And there's actually more of these guys in the next room. If we keep going, there's even more right here. You need a total of eight of these guys to complete your hunter's journal. So you can actually pop them right in the face, too. Can't hit them from... Oh, you can hit them from the back or the front. Look at that. You learn something new every day. And just like that, we got all of the Durandu. So let's go ahead and find the next enemy. Next up, I'm going to group a couple of enemies all together because you find them all in one spot. And that is going to be over in the Colosseum of Fools. You've got the Shielded Fool, Sturdy Fool, Winged Fool, Heavy Fool, the Death Loodle, and also the God Tamer. The God Tamer and the Heavy Loodle for sure you can only get in the Trial of the Fool. And you have to get a certain ways in just to find these enemies. God Tamer obviously being the final boss of the Trial of the Fool. They're not super hidden, but the only way that you're going to find them is by doing the Trial of the Fool. So if you haven't attempted that, go ahead and check that area out. So if you haven't attempted the Trial of the Fool, it can be found over here in Kingdom's Edge. You're just going to use the King Station to come over into the Kingdom's Edge, and then you're going to make your way up to the top this way. Another enemy that can be tough to find quickly is the Grub Mimic. So what we're going to do is head over to the Queen Station and then we're going to make our way down into Deep Nest. So here we are on the map. We're going to make our way down below where we are here and into this little room over to the right. Just going to keep going to the right and drop down. Here we are on the map. We're going to drop down and go to the left. Again, here's the map. We're going to head all the way to the left until we can drop into Deep Nest. map and we're going to drop down and we're going to hug the right wall from here so here we are and again hug the right wall Here's the map yet again, and here we're going to find three Grub Mimics. Right here, right here, and right here. If you've already found these three Grub Mimics and you're wondering where else they come up, you can also find them in the Trial of the Conqueror, because you need a total of five for these to count towards your Hunter's Journal. The second to hardest hunter journals entry to find is the gome, and that is because it's only in one location. So what we're going to do is make our way over to the left and drop all the way down. Alright, so here we are on the map. We're going to go down and to the right. Again, the map, and we're going to keep going down, and this time to the left. So instead of dropping down into the fungal waste right here, we're going to head over to the right. And right here, this floor is breakable. You have to use a desolate dive to come down. And right here is a fossilized gome. This is the only spot in the game where you can find a fossilized gome, and this is what's going to give you that journal entry. So let's go ahead and look at the hardest entry next. 
The hardest journal entry for the Hunter's Journal is going to be found near the hidden station. And next, we're going to make our way over to the tram. All right, so here we are on the map. We're going to make our way up to the tram. From the tram, we're going to go one room to the left. The journal entry we're going after is called the Garpede, and it's going to be found right here on the map. We're just going to make our way to the left and down. We have to kind of go through this maze a little bit. Follow this to the left, and then drop all the way to the bottom once it's clear. Down inside here. Again, here's the map. We're going to make our way to the left. And right inside here, we have to inspect the corpse of a Garpede. And by inspecting the corpse of the Garpede, we unlocked the final entry that we needed to complete our hunter's journal. The corpse of the Garpede is by far the hardest journal entry to find in the game, and that's because it can only be found in this one location here in Deep Nest. I hope that I made this video as easy as possible for you to follow. My name is Relia, and I hope to talk to you again more soon.